what's up? My name is Nick, otherwise known here on YouTube as a Valence. And today I got an interesting thing in the mail, my new capture card. And I went ahead and I figured, you know, I'd probably do a little guide. I know it's been a while since these have been out, but I know it's still a guide that people are looking for as far as installing the capture card goes. Um, previously, I actually used a Black Magic Intensity Pro, and this thing lasted me for about three years until it started to have problems last week. So I went ahead and I put in an order for the Aver Media. And I went ahead and got it just today in the mail. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of walk you guys through how to install a capture card on the hardware side of things. Uh, if you guys are interested in software too, I can help you out in the comments below this video. This is just kind of a short, quick video showcasing where it goes. I also want you guys to be aware that this is my old computer tower. This is not my gaming computer tower that I typically use for recording. It's kind of my backup that I use as a second stream computer and stuff. So it's not very nice. It's just a standard basic computer you'd buy at Best Buy. And I basically use it for streaming and recording off of my PC. So that's why the capture card will be going in this machine. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how everything works. But let's start by unboxing the Avermedia capture card. Alright, so this is the Avermedia capture card. You can see here in the box you have the Game Broadcaster HD. This is a single card. It retails for around $120 and I actually picked it up on a friend's recommendation, but it seems like a pretty solid card. The only thing that's different is actually the output on both of these. This one has an output. The Blackmagic Intensity Pro actually has an output, while the Avermedia does not. So let's go ahead and open the Aver Media. I actually just cut the tape earlier and took a peek inside to see what it was like. Um, it's a much smaller card without an output, like I said, but that's essentially what you're looking at here. So right here, sorry if the camera's a little shaky too, I'm doing this over the camera. Right here you actually have your capture card, so to speak. I know the focus is a little out of whack. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. There you go. So right there you actually have the card wrapped in protective plastic. We'll unbox that here. I believe it's just a tab pull out and then we grab the card. So the Aver Media is a much wider card and a much bigger card actually as you can see. Um, it just looks different than the Black Magic Intensity Pro uh, but that is the Aver Media actual capture card. You have your VGA input right there. Let me go ahead and fix my focus again. Sorry I'm doing all of this myself so it's a little little hectic as far as this goes. There you go. So you have your VGA right there and you have your HDMI here and this is the protective wrapping that keeps it from you know getting shocked or messed up during transport. So you have the actual card right there. Now in the box you also have a couple things. This is a pin for the back if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and just double check. Yeah, so it's a pin for the back. This is a back panel pin that'll go over the slot on the back of your machine if you don't have one already, uh, just to protect it. We won't be using this, but that's in there. Uh, so that's nice to have. Also in here, we have a VGA cable, which goes to red, green, and blue. Again, we won't be using that. That is mainly going to be for component capture, but you have it in there uh, to use that. I never really use that. You also have a red white audio cable, which again, won't be using. And then I hope they provided no HDMI cable, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we also have the quick setup guide for it, which is right here. And then we have the drivers for the Windows 7 and the support disk. Although I've been told that the Aver Media actually auto installs, which is quite nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is now take out the Aver Media, which is right here. We're going to go ahead and take that out, and I'm actually going to be comparing it to the Black Magic card. All right, so as you guys can see, these are the two cards side by side. The Aver Media is here on the right, and the Black Magic Intensity Pro is here on the left. I was actually kind of surprised by how big the Aver Media Game Capture HD is compared to the Black Magic, but I'm honestly hoping that that'll make it a little more stable when it's actually in socket. So the one thing I want to point out on both these cards is if you flip them over, you'll see a very monumental difference. Now, for those of you who have HDMI splitters, this isn't too big of a deal. But for those of you who do not, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, so you see the Blackmagic Intensity Pro on top. There are two HDMI ports. One is an output and one is an input. And then you also have the other cables here for the input. Uh, on the Aver Media, you just have a VGA and then one HDMI that you see there on the right. Now, the difference between these is the fact that the Blackmagic can actually output an HDMI signal. Now, it's quite nice if you don't have a splitter. I personally do use an HDMI splitter to split mine to my computer monitor and also to my card. But for those of you who do not have an HDMI splitter, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, or I guess for those of you who don't want to use a splitter, is probably a more interesting choice. Now, 
I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, why did you buy a new capture card? It was simply because the Blackmagic finally crapped out on me. I've had it for three years, and it's been a very reliable card with me streaming and making videos for three years straight. Um, it just started to have issues about a week and a half ago, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Let me see if I can focus it in here. Uh, that's, that's a semi-good focus. Um, you'll see on the inverse side here, there's a couple burn marks in the chip right there, and then right here as well, a couple burn marks. Just probably wear and tear, you know. But it served its purpose for three years, and I'm totally okay with that. So that's why I ended up buying a new card. Now to set these up on the hardware standpoint, it's very simple. They just go into a PCI port. The Blackmagic will plug into a PCI port via this right here, and it'll just simply click in, and it should be going out of the back of your tower, which is what that should be. Uh, as far as the Evermedia goes, it's going to be a bit longer, which I hope I'll be able to fit it in the machine without uh, confliction, at least my current one. Um, but that will also plug into the PCI, click in, lock in the back, and then you'll tighten it to screw it in. Alright guys, so now we're actually going to go ahead and install the card. This is just my old Asus machine. You can see it's kind of a wreck. It's nothing too fancy. Um, but the card is actually going to go in one of my slots, which is right here. I took out the cover, so I'll be able to throw it in there. But let's go ahead and do it. It's quite simple, I promise. Uh, just The big thing is, make sure that there's no static going through you as a person. Anything that can shock or fry any of the system parts. Also, it's important to make sure... I always do this, but your computer is not on. Do not do this with your computer on. It'll fry a lot of things, which can be very bad. And the other thing, too, is I recommend unplugging the power cord from your computer just to be sure, maybe give it five minutes or so, uh, just to make sure, you know, there's nothing that's going to fry. Again, this is coming from an amateur. I don't build computers for a living, but it's just a helpful tip because when I first put in a capture card, I was a little afraid. So let's go ahead and do this. This is a much wider card, but it will fit in fine right here. You'll see that I'm gently putting it in, make sure it clicks into the slot, and then just push it in your PCI slot right there, and make sure that it is stable right there. And that's literally it. So guys, that is how to install an internal capture card. It's really not too hard, but I know it's quite scary if you guys haven't worked with computers before. I personally use it to do game video and also use my Canon camera on my computer, but I know that a lot of you guys, uh, perhaps some of you younger guys out there too, who are just now getting into game recording and using an internal card, maybe a little afraid of it. I know a lot of people prefer to use external cards like the Elgato, but this is the best way to do it. Internal gives you no lag, which is very important for live streams, and it also uh, just I think does more solid recording I prefer to have it that way and honestly that's just what I think of the whole thing so that's it for the hardware installation if you guys are interested in maybe a software video I could do that as well with the Avermedia I just want to do this quick video because I know personally three years ago when I was installing my Blackmagic card for the first time I was scared to death of doing it because I didn't want to mess anything up. It was actually in the same computer. So that's that guys. That's how you install the Aver Media. If you have any hardware questions, please feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability or hopefully we'll have some other people on the video who will do so. But that's it. I gotta go film some stuff because I've been behind without a capture card. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this guide, please feel free to like the video. I also highly encourage you to share the video with anyone who may be interested that you know. And of course, subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, vlogs, gaming videos, anything of that nature and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching have a good one and good luck with your capture cards